Speaking of Alex Sink, the Democrat, she believes votes from independents and crossover Republicans in more conservative areas of North Florida will put her over the top. News Channel 5's Katie Legrone is covering Alex Sink's race for governor at the Marriott Hotel in Tampa. Katie? That's right, Kelly. This is where Alex Sink, her family, and closest supporters will be gathering here. They will be watching these poll numbers come in very closely tonight. Now, earlier today, or rather just about an hour or so ago, Alex Sink made her way inside the ballroom of this hotel to address every member of the media here. She appeared calm. She said she was excited. She said she was confident. But even she admits that tonight's race is anyone's. Could be an early night, could be a late night. I'm just going to enjoy every single minute because uh, this is a once in a lifetime experience, uh, certainly for me. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be doing something like this, but I am very committed to serving the people of Florida. And, of course, Sink arrived here at the hotel after a busy day of last-minute campaigning that, of course, started off with her casting her own vote at her local precinct in a rural part of Tampa. From there, she made her way to a luncheon with a small business owner and a longtime friend. And, of course, then she went ahead and hit the streets of Tampa for one last time, waving her hands, waving signs, trying to get those last-minute voters to look at her as Florida's next top chief, a a 62-year-old mother of two, a former banker turned CFO. She, of course, running for the state's top spot tonight. On a side note, I ended up speaking with Bill McBride, her husband, who, of course, found himself in the very same position that Alex Sink is in tonight. He found himself there about eight years ago. I asked him about what he expected out of tonight. He said, of course, that in his wife's support, he expects this race to be over. 830. That's husband support for you. We are live in Tampa. Katie Legrone, WPTV News Channel 5.